I think the thing that Trump was most perturbed about, me asking him to be my vice president, I think that was like lower on the list of things that caught him off guard. It was the fact that I walked in with intelligence. So Trump is really impressed with Nick Fuentes. And Nick Fuentes, unlike so many of the lawyers and so many people that he was left with on his 2020 campaign, he's actually a loyalist. When he didn't know where the lawyers is, you'll still have your lawyer list. And when all the lawyers said, forget it, Trump's done, there are loyalists running up yep. in the White House, right? And my question would be, why, when you had the chance, did you not free the January Sixers? And I came to him as someone who loves Trump, and I said, go and get Corey back. Go and get these people that the media tried to cancel and told you to step away from. He basically gives me this would-be mob-esque kind of story talking to some kid from the south side of Chicago trying to sound mobby or whatever. He goes into the story about all that he went through to get Alice Johnson out of jail and how he didn't do it for Kim, but he did it for me. But then he goes on to say that Kim is a and you could tell her I said that. And I was thinking like, that's the mother of my children. Since we know, and all the Christians in America that love Trump know that Trump is a conservative, we're going to demand that you hold all policies directly to the Bible. When Trump started basically screaming at me at the table telling me I was going to lose, I mean, has that ever worked for anyone in history? Tell me <laughs> You're going to lose. Tell him he's going to lose. lose. Tell me. I'm like, well, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Trump. You're talking to Ye. Perfect.